So I think you started with a with a cyber knife idea at the end of the 80s, right? By this time, a robotic device coupled with a radiation machine was far from every idea. How did you get to this idea that this could be a, a worthwhile technological piece in medicine? Well, I had no idea whether it would be truly successful or not, but I fell under the sway of Lars Lexell when I did my fellowship at the Karolinska. And uh, the importance of Lexell was not just that he was a big neurosurgical thinker, but he also put his ideas into action. Uh, he was really was willing and committed to commercializing them. He was fortunate to have a son that really wanted to do this for him, a Harvard Business School grad. But, but from the start, Lexell knew that ideas by themselves were nothing, that to make them real required this commercialization process. So I could see with my own eyes, flesh and blood do this. And so as great a figure as Lars Lexell was in my life, it became tangible. And so I quickly realized what Lexell had done in the brain was, in my way of thinking, genius. Yeah, I said, if it works in the brain, why wouldn't it work elsewhere in the body? And just a uh, little bit too much time on my hands, I figured out a basic construct for how that might happen, and that became the core imaging system of the CyberKnife.